Welcome to Power System Experts. This is our session on study of a grid connected battery energy storage systems in PSCAD. Let's open PSCAD. Now let's open the study case. This is our study case. Also, we need to open the battery model library. Let's go to the study case. Here on the main page, you can see that a battery module is connected to a DC to DC converter. And there is an inverter interface with the grid through a delta Y transformer. Uh, this uh, bus to which the delta Y transformer and the grid both are connected is called the bus station. Best station means battery energy storage system station. So there is a load connected uh, connected on this bus, on the best bus. And those active and reactive power can be controlled by these slide bars and their control panels here. Also, this load could be turned off using this control panel from the control panel of this select switch, which controls this circuit breaker. And here a three phase to ground file is connected to the bus station bus. Uh, it could be triggered by this uh, select switch and its control panel here. And the duration of the fault is uh, controlled by this mono stable and it's 200 milliseconds here. Here on the top left side of the page is the startup sequence of the simulation. Uh, after after uh, 100 milliseconds of start of the simulation, this uh, D block VST signal is activated, which will enable this uh, voltage source converter or the inverter. And after a delay of another 300 milliseconds, uh, the DC to DC converter will be enabled. This D block signal controls this DC to DC converter. Let's explore the battery module now. So, this module is representing uh, 500 volt lithium ion battery a lot of assumptions have been made in this model uh, which include the constant internal resistance of the battery and there is no variation in it during charging or discharging and also the effect of current on internal resistance of the battery is non modeled in this model and the temperature is uh, the effect of temperature on the internal resistance uh, or the output values of the battery are not modeled in this case if you double click on this battery module, uh, you see its parameters here. And uh, before the parameters, we explore the, uh, these graphs, the state of charge of the battery, the battery power input or output, the battery voltage and battery voltage graphs are plotted here. And here in these uh, uh, dial, uh, dial panels, we can control the uh, the reference power of the battery we can increase it or we can decrease it and the voltage battery current and battery power and other parameters are also represented are also represented by these uh, dial troughs if we double click on this battery we can see its parameters here it's the voltage of the battery nominal voltage is related capacity it's loss of capacity at nominal current in one hour is 20 the initial state of charge is battery is 90 and its internal load uh, <coughs> its state of charge is included in, in its output which means that this battery model is able to tell its state of charge and if you go to uh, you, you can see in data entry is set to shepherd model there is another option of tabular data the shepherd model uh, and tabular uh, more <clears throat> tabular data are the ways to represent the state of charge of the battery. Uh, the Schiffer model tells nominal capacity, resistive drop, exponential voltage, exponential point, capacity at exponential point, and fully charged voltage. And the tabular model tells the state of charge in this way, state of charge and its voltage in tabular form in this way. And the disk curve of internal disk curve, discharge curve of internal resistance also. In this way, these uh, two uh, parameters are used for the tabular model and this uh, parameter is used for the Shepard model.
so uh, go back to the main page now let's let's explore this dc to dc converter uh, this dc to dc converter can either operate as a buck converter to charge the battery or a boost converter to provide power to the grid from the battery right click on it and select edit parameters to see it parameters there is nothing worth explaining here uh, there are some uh, simple things here the deep logging signal the edit power and the power set point for battery that. let's double click on the dc to dc converter so to see its internal definition so this is the dc to dc converter circuit which can operate as a buck or boost converter if this lower side switch operates it performs the boot op boost operation note that the body diode of this upper switch x as a <coughs> Uh, the body diode of the server switch will be on during off time of this uh, lower side the IGBT and the reverse will happen uh, during the buck operation which means that this, uh, when this transistor will be conducting this body diode will be off and when the body diode and the body diode will turn on when uh, this IGBT will be turned off so it will be the complementary switch in case of a converter and these upper level controls, uh, <coughs> control box, we can uh, turn on or off the DC to DC converter. If it is turned off, the DC to DC converter will not operate at all. And uh, here in the lower uh, select switch, we can set the charging or discharging mode. In discharging mode, it will be operating as a boost converter, this uh, DC to DC converter. And in charging mode, it will be operating as a uh, buck converter and it will charge the battery and both uh, discharging and uh, charging mode are enabled uh, are interlocked with the state of the charge of the battery uh, it, in this uh, this uh, block which generates this SOC permit signal it uh, does not let the uh, in a uh, charging mode when the state of battery state of charge of battery is 100 and does not enable the discharging mode when the state of charge of battery is 5 or below it it's basically uh, if you want to see how it works just click go to and its definition and go to script here you see that the photon script is written for its operation it blocks the <coughs> uh, charging mode uh, when state of charge is 100 and this blocks the discharging mode when state of charge is less than 5 photographic and press backspace to go into the schematic so here uh, in this uh, logic gates uh, uh, incorporate the uh, settings from uh, on off of this uh, convert uh, on off of this drive or the charging mode and the soc permit signal And these uh, lower controls, these are the PA controls for regulation of battery power during the buck and boost operation. They are very really simple uh, PA controllers. We are not going to explain these. They are uh, pretty much simple. And here is the, uh, on the left side is the <coughs> pulse generation for boost and buck operation. On the upper right side, here, uh, here are some graphs related to these DC to DC converters. The reference power, the DC power, the battery from the power be lower, be higher. Duty cycle of boost, duty cycle of buck, uh, I high and I low. So there are some dial switches which are also representing these things. And the gear switch for boost and the gear switch for buck converter are shown here. Going back, now let's explore this uh, voltage source converter or inverter. Right click on it and go to edit parameters to see its parameters. There are a lot of parameters including the rated values, control signals, and control settings, control parameters and filter parameters and machine side parameters and then the chopper parameters. These are all uh, various blocks inside this inverter and the uh, parameters for all of those blocks including the TC chopper or the filter or the 
control parameters and control settings are given here. In the Reddit values, the Reddit power, Reddit line to line, RMS voltage, system frequency, and maximum Reddit current of the converter, and carrier frequency as a multiple of fundamental frequency is given. And here are the uh, values of the filter inductor and capacitor. And in control settings, uh, <coughs> Uh, these are the control settings. If this uh, DX control, let's say they are coming from uh, here. This uh, this first control setting, DX is control mode. This controls the DC voltage or active power. If this is chosen as zero or one from here, it is. If it is chosen as, as zero, it controls the DC voltage, and if it is chosen as one, it controls the active power. And this second parameter Q access control, this provides the option to control the J2 power or AC voltage on the output of the inverter. If this uh, parameter is selected as uh, from here, if it is selected as zero, it uh, operates in active power mode or even, and if it is selected as one, it operates as AC voltage control mode. And this uh, third control parameter IDQ control, uh, this uh, signal is a priority setting. For the current limits of the inverter, zero means IQ or reactive power is set to priority, and one means uh, active power is set as a priority. These settings act in case of uh, uh, under voltage or over voltage type two uh, situations, and in fault situations, these are very important. The current setting and going to values of uh, to this chopper parameter these are the activation voltage of the dc chopper and uh, the uh, the minimum voltage is 1.5 and the maximum voltage is 1.7 and the shunt resistor through which the discharging of the dc link occurs is 1.24 ohm uh, please note that the function of dc chopper is to prevent the dc link from over voltage it uh, discharges the dc link when it crosses a certain threshold it is set here 1.7 kilovolts and these control parameters there are a lot of parameters here uh, these control orders EDC order or Kim order these are the set values of DC voltage and uh, reactive power which are controlled from here from these two uh, these two switches and their control panels here and the rest of the things are the PI controllers uh, the parameters of the KP and KI for the various PI controllers inside this inverter they are uh, given in the bottom side of this page here. And going back to parameters and control settings we have already talked about and filter and grid and machine parameters. Uh, there are always a filter connected on the output of the uh, of two to of an inverter to prevent harmonics from entering the grid. And these are the parameters of that filter. So that's all about the parameters of the inverter. Let's go into the definition of the inverter. Double click on it. So uh, here you can see uh, the AC filter. The, this is the simplified converter model as equivalent voltage sources without switching. So that in earlier cases, uh, in case of uh, here solar form uh, study and uh, wind type four wind model study, we have seen that the switches were modeled as the inverter was modeled as uh, discrete switches, but in case of the battery energy storage systems, it is always only modeled as equivalent voltage sources. We click on it to see it. Uh, here you can see that the, these are three dependent voltage sources, which are controlled from this uh, reference voltage signal. This is a time domain voltage FS signal uh, generated from this uh, controller here, and the voltage of the uh, these dependent sources is directly controlled from the time domain voltage reference signal instead of uh, any switching happening. So uh, here is the DC link chopper. You can see there is a resistor and a, a IGBT switch and uh, it is turned on to discharge the DC link by this stasis buffer. If the value of uh, voltage is crossed, the DC chop on and DC chop off uh, levels are set here and the logic against them was also set here. So, 
uh, if we go inside this uh, this controllers uh, you can see that here is the ARL calculation the TQ current calculation and these are two uh, second order low pass filters to filter out harmonics and uh, here uh, you see that uh, the limits of the NQ are set and uh, these are uh, <coughs> PI controllers for setting the reference ID and IQ values and uh, these controllers these convert the reference ID Q voltage into reference VD and PQ voltages and finally uh, here here uh, the DQ voltage is transformed into reference voltages time domain reference voltages and then this time domain reference voltages are used in the inverter for generating uh, for generating the voltages and here uh, you can see the per unitizing and main per unit here the some mathematical operations are happening for calculation of per unit values and that's all here uh, in the controllers if you want to know more about uh, these controllers please see our lecture on so steady of a solar power plant these are very much similar to the case that we have studied in the solar power plant you will understand uh, about them uh, there. So uh, let's go back. And uh, here you see the grid. Uh, this grid, uh, the voltage and the reference value of uh, the frequency and reference value of voltage of the grid are controlled from here. So uh, we will see the battery in charging mode, the battery in discharging mode, and the effect of. Uh, <coughs> Uh, fault on the uh, output of this inverter in this uh, simulation. So here in graphs and controls block, uh, all graphs and controls are uh, presented. So uh, let's set the battery to charging mode first. Here we go. We are setting the battery. It's already set to charging mode. Let's enable the DC to TG converter. And here now we run the simulation. It's compiling. So the simulation is now running. If we go inside this battery and see its parameters, you see the battery parameters are rising. The state of charge of the battery is going up from 100. The battery power is going in negative side. The battery voltage is increasing and the battery current is decreasing as the battery is charging. Press R to refresh these graphs. So the battery uh, state of charge is still going up. It's not fully charged yet. We'll stop the simulation when the battery is fully charged. You see that the battery has almost charged to 95%. The state of charge is crossing towards 95. Let's uh, go back and convert this uh, battery into a discharging mode. Yeah, we have turned it into discharging mode. And let's see the graphs of the battery, what they say. Okay, the state of charge is decreasing. The current from battery has started to flow out. The voltage of the battery, you can see that uh, <coughs> it has changed now. So the battery power was first negative, now it's positive. So this is showing the discharging of the battery. So let's uh, give a fault. Go to this. Uh, okay, let's enable a fault and go to the graphs to see the behavior of the battery. Here we see that when we implemented a fault, the Reactive power from the battery has rised and it has provided great support. It's also shown in these graphs. Here in this point, we switched the battery from discharging mode, uh, sorry, charging mode to discharging mode, and this is the point where we have uh, given a fault. So the battery has provided the great support in this case.
so that's all of the study of veterinary stress systems in PSCAD. Thank you very much.